What's cracking YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. Last week, we was talking about flash photography and how you can ghetto hack your flash to make it make shots like this. And now this week, I wanna talk about the next picture across, which will be this one. Now, if you notice in this shot, there's a very red tint, which we got through those, you know, the whole tube hack thing we did last week. There you go. Anyway, so that's how we got the red. But the blue here was shot with a normal flash. Now, this is a technique that you see in a lot of photography, and I'll show you some examples right now. So if that interests you, keep on watching. I'm gonna show you how you can do it in your camera. So all you need is one flash, the little hack thing, which we discussed here, and you need some natural light. So what I've done is I've set my A7 camera up here. I'm just gonna switch it on. So I've put that on your flash here, so you're gonna get a red light. Now, obviously, on this side of the room, I'm gonna get the white light from the window. So what we need to do is simply go into our white balance on our camera right here. And if you notice, I've already set mine to a custom one when it focuses and I've set it right down so it's nice and cool. Let me show you a flash so you can understand. So what you're seeing here looks normal because it's the way Sony does it. When I take the shot, oh, that's a self timer. You'll notice now we've got this red streak coming from that flash over there. And then the blue, believe it or not, is actually the light beaming from this window here. Don't you just hate it when you make a video and you need to correct yourself straight away? So here's the corrections. You don't need two flashes, you need one flash and natural light, which means you could do this anywhere, any time of the day, which is dope. The second thing I was just showing you is the streaks of light. Now I had one streak of red light here and the next streak of blue light. Now that blue light in particular, which is so intense, is actually the gap that's being created here on the flash. It's pushing out just the normal white light from a flash. And then obviously the rest is the red coming from the top. But then obviously if you're in a bright sunny day, everything's gonna be blue. And then you can just pop a little bit of red on the side of the face, like I did on this image here. This is just shot in a corridor, you know, little bit of red on the face, darkness in the shadows. And that was a natural light there in the blue. So there's my corrections. I'm gonna go and run in frame and just show you some of the, the shots that you can get with this. And I bet you guys can make some absolutely epic shots. So let me try and set this camera up so that you guys can see my self timer running abilities. Hold on. Let's go, let's do this. Cool, so you get the idea. I wanna see your results. So tag me into your shots on Instagram leave some comments on my page or just leave me a personal message and we can discuss some things further if you have any more questions and that's it for today just another quick video i want to do these quick ones just to help you guys out and i think this technique's pretty cool because all you need is one little light of any color of your choice it doesn't have to be red but then the white balance you can turn to blue so you can get that proper neon 80s kind of look so i hope this helped you guys don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos just like this one catch you guys next time okay let's go Get the rain in my jungle